Hello everyone and thank you for joining me on this portfolio presentation. I'm going to be talking a little bit about myself and about my artwork and some current things that I have going on with me. So let's get going. I was born and raised in West Palm Beach, Florida specifically. I lived there for about 20 years of my life and most of my childhood I was a very creative child. I used it as a bit of an outlet for myself to express myself, whether it be through drawing or painting on the walls or whatever it is that children like to do to express themselves with their art. I later learned to channel that art, I guess, strength, since it was considered a strength of mine, um, and channeled that into my studies and I auditioned for a local magnet art high school which gave me a wonderful opportunity to pursue some of the things that I would never have thought I may have been interested in the future. And a lot of my inspiration when drawing on my past and my present, when I create things, I, I love art history. I love learning about antiquity, older, things that influence current things. I'm into current events, things that are happening in my own reality and my world, as well as things that have happened, such as mythology, religious studies. And a lot of the concepts that I like to talk about in my art are related to similar ideas of religion, current events, I like to speak about my own self-discovery, which turns into a lot of self-portraits I've found. And there's a lot of play with this idea of the self and mirrors into realities, viewing paintings as alternate realities or viewing works as alternate realities. So I've been fortunate enough to be able to work in all different types of mediums. I started with drawing two-dimensional things. Collage, um, collages and collage were a big part of my early experimentation with art, which led into me finding a brand, brand new love for lithography, which was so unexpected for me. But going through my various courses and practices where I've been able to learn lithography, that I feel like channeled its own way into my art that I make now because of this collage style element as well as the figurative element and that moved me into my screen printing phase and my still obsession with screen printing. It's something that I use to reclaim my own personal enjoyment out of my art and it's something that I do take seriously, but I try to be a little bit more lax and make things that I think are a little bit more fun and a little bit more nonchalant, something that I don't really have to push a meaning towards, something that I can just create and have fun with because the process is just so involving. I can't speak to how these types of methods when it comes to screen printing have influenced the way that I've been able to think about coloring and layering and how to put pieces of a puzzle together when it comes to the art itself. And I feel like a lot of that speaks towards my paintings. My oil paint journey has been incredible to say the least. I have only been painting since about 2018, 2019, and I feel like I've learned so so, I've, so much. I've learned so much since I first started painting. I could not have imagined the type of growth that I've created as I've gone through my trials and my tribulations when it comes to understanding the form and the way the different planes shift on the body in terms of painting flesh. Um, I try to keep a really loose brush stroke pattern although some areas do need a little bit of TLC. So 
I try to find a nice balance of both the combination of hard lines, soft blending, the different color shifts from light to dark, which is a thing that I really like to play around with. And I like to talk about this, this feeling of what it means to be and look within yourself. And my paintings have been kind of a personal journey for me, looking into myself and looking into why do I do the things that I do and what draws me to certain aesthetics and certain compositions. This one is a similar self-discovery journey in the form of a painting where we have all these figures that are different representations of me in different points in time. And it's kind of this coming together of the self. And speaking of the, the coming together of the self, that was the main inspiration for this one as well, with the arms enveloping the figure with the multiple moments and snapshot kind of feeling that we get from the movement of the different arms. And beyond oil paint, I think for me, learning about the forms of color really helped create this piece, which is all aerosol spray paint on a rather large canvas. And I, I felt it kind of cathartic and a little liberating to work on this one. Since it's so large, I was able to just put all this different color down in big swipes and it really kind of took a hold on me and it turned into a kind of series, a miniature series where I would be taking big pieces and spraying them down and seeing what kind of thing I can create out of them. And this was one that came of it. And finally, to top off this fine, fine series of paintings is this kind of internal monologue painting, which I turned into a dialogue. And I think there, it's, it's just wonderful to be able to have that type of expression and conversation with yourself. And I use that as the fuel for my work. And I really appreciate everyone taking the time to spend this moment with me and listen to how I go about making things and be sure to look out for more things that I create in the future.